Break too. Decent, not the greatest break, but that still doesn't have a shot. I can't tell. Dennis may have to take a foul here. Yeah, he could, I mean, flip to 12 and just float to the end row, maybe. He'd like to cross the 15 and leave him on the back rail, but it's real touchy. See anything good here? Yeah, you laid down for a good break here. It's real. Tri uh, yeah, it's not real easy to cross this feed. Like to just cross. He's looking to cross the 15, put it on his side, like where the cue ball is now, and drop down, drop down like under the 10 on the rail. But and then you just. I mean, he could sell out. If you don't hit it too good, he could sell out the bank on the two. And yeah, he's okay with. But 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 as long as he leaves him an angle where he goes into the pack, it's not the end of the world because he's right. gonna, if he misses the bank on the two, he's gonna open up the whole rack. Right. He might even, I can't tell, but it looks like he could maybe kick into the 12. If he were to do that shot, Scott could kick into the 12 and the three yeah. plays off the third. For Whatever. sure, yeah. And he sticks them in the stack. Yeah. He's going to kick the four. Kick the four. Yeah. He sold out here. Nah, I don't think so. He got a free shot. On the two? No, 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 the 15. 15? Yeah, the 15 know, doesn't do that. The you know, only bad thing about that shot is that uh, then you let them see everything. Yeah, see your balls, yeah. You're better off to go off the two and stick them in the stack. I can't Ma tell if he can bank the 15 and maybe drag the cue ball to the side row. Does yeah. he have the angle for that? I like going off the two. I like going off the two and sticking them in the stack. Maybe, maybe you get lucky, you line up the two in your pocket. And then, and then when he kicks under it, next shot you can go for a con kick combination or something. Right. How about that shot? Wow. I didn't even think about that. Well, that wasn't in my playbook. Yeah. Power one pocket. Yeah. Looks like he's just going to nip the three and. He'd like to be able to nip the four. If, if he could nip the four and come oh, three rails, then he opens them up. But I don't think he can do that. I think it's. I think can he, he bank the three? I don't think so. Maybe. I don't think he can make it. I think maybe he'll just skim off of it. Yeah. I'm thinking he's just going to skim off of it and try to leave him close to the side pocket. Right. You don't want to leave him. I, yeah, he did. Look at this scratch. <clears throat> wow. Off of my bank, though. That was a good shot, though. Yeah, that three ball would have floated over to his a little bit closer and he left him on the back rail. I feel like he's gonna hit the ten and try to get him up against the four. Yeah, you definitely don't want to let him see that. Well, you got the perfect shot here. Just come right off the 10, send the 10 up table, and, and put the cue ball right there. Yeah, yeah, put them, park them right on top of the 7. I, I think. I think he's just going to work them up table now. 
I like I, I like parking them on that seven. I mean, and then maybe you get a bank on that fifteen the next shot somehow. You know what I mean? Right. Now maybe somehow he leaves him a bank on one of them balls up there. Yeah, he's thinking about something to do. I mean, yeah, like I see, he doesn't want he doesn't want to let him see that bank up there. If, if he hits this eight too full, he may get a kiss. If, if, if he, he's got to just nip this eight and come across, right? I mean, you don't want to. He don't. He doesn't want to let him see those two straight balls up there. Almost like just taking a foul. I think he, I think he'd like to go off the eight and leave the cue ball in the center diamond. But he's got to hit it real thin so he doesn't. He doesn't want to, he's like got to barely move. Right. Yeah, definitely, ain't nothing, 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 there's nothing good he can do, that's for sure. Yeah, he's in a bad spot. I'm wondering what he's looking at. He could hit this real thin and go three cushions and put him behind the four, but right. I, 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 I just feel like if he hits the eight too full, he's going to run right into the kiss. You know, the eight's going to come down and the cue ball's going to meet right there. Right. It almost looks like he's taking a foul and kicking three rows into the back. Could be doing that. Yeah, that's not that. That's not that bad of a shot. Yeah, he really. could sell out the straight back on the 15. Is the only thing if he yeah. didn't hit good enough. Here, he kind of yeah, left him a free shot. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think, I think before he shot that, he was looking at the balls like if they were lined up, there was a ball lined up dead in his pocket, like maybe if he sh Right. But, yeah, he, I think he may even get position on the one if he makes this. He's got like the perfect ankle. Cross this, it goes in. He... Oh, he played the bank combo. Yeah. Played the cue ball down nicely, though. Yeah, exactly. Left them in an awkward spot to be in. Probably gonna try to get them, stick them on the five and the four, somehow put them on those balls. A lot of funny things could happen here, though. Leaving the bank on the three somehow. Hit it good. Yeah. Oh, he's definitely going to be kicking it. I don't I, actually. I don't know if it's look, not lined up. I thought it was the four three was lined up, but it's well. Look, at, is that the eleven ball that may go off the eight if he kicks? It looks like the the two ball, the three ball combo. You see it? Yeah, I see what you're saying. Oh yeah, the will stick the cue ball. Maybe even if it doesn't go, if he can stick the cue ball, it's not a bad shot. Yeah. I can't tell though. The four may leak out. I think he'd have to if he kicked into this this green ball, and then, then the cue ball is going to go into the into the orange, and maybe it would stay there. But a lot, a lot of funny things going to happen. I, I think he definitely he wants to hit the that green ball full, and then the cue ball is going to cue ball is going to hit the, the the orange five after hitting the you know, and it may stop right there. But right. something may leak out. I mean, it's hard to say. I don't really like that. 
time. Yeah, he, he definitely he sold out big time here. Oh, wow. <laughs> nothing but, if he gets an angle, he's got a perfect shot to break the whole rack out here. Yeah. I mean, if he falls on this, it may be game over. Yeah. Yeah, if he gets a, he wants to get a little bit of a steep angle here. I think he got he it. Get enough. Uh, that's, he's there. He would have wanted to have a little bit more of an angle. I don't think he's going to get a good spread here. Maybe. He's gonna he should probably, this one. if I had to guess, he's going to get a shot on the six next. Right. The four may come out too. Yeah, oh, everything came out. Look at this. Oh, no. Oh, he may have fell on it pretty good. No, I don't. Look, the 11 7's tied up. Nothing goes to Dennis's hole. Yeah, the, I guess he's got to shoot the one. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, but the 14 ball, Dennis is definitely going to be shooting the 14. But he's he's got to take a chance here. Yeah, I mean, I, I favor Scott to make this for sure. I do make yeah. good looking girls. I can go my daughter. Well, what I had. I might decide she didn't like that. So. Yeah, he just needs to bear down and focus on making this one. He wishes he could shoot the 14, but there's no pocket. Nine's in the way. Only way he could play safe is hit the hit the seven eleven into the seven real hard. But I think he's better off just to go for this. Yeah, I think you got to go for this. Momentum's going his way. He's up. It's not easy. It's tough. Yeah, I think he's supposed to shoot it. Oh, as good as he pockets balls, he's got to yeah, go for this. Definitely. He he hit it good. Yeah. You gotta hit it with confidence. You can't just roll that ball. No, for sure. No, a ball's a really kind of funny for Dennis. I mean, he could have ran out, but they wouldn't have been the easiest out. Right. At seven. He kind of got goofy on the six a little bit. I don't know if he can no, get he's out. Got, he's perfect. I think he's gonna punch it out for the nine. Nine ball next. I think he's got the perfect angle. You just gotta hit it with just just a draw. Come right out. Just done. Yeah, he just wants to come out in the center of the table. Maybe a little bit further than the center, but right. anything from the center on will do. Yeah, he was he was fine. He didn't like he had much angle, but he don't want to get on the rail. Wow. Let's see what he I guess he's gotta shoot the nine and play for the fourteen next. Right. I don't know if he can he can't shoot the four and follow two rails. It's too much. Yeah. Yeah, kind of a touchy shot on the nine too, because you got to worry about the cue ball going going into the side pocket. Right. I don't think he can play the. He could play the four and then just shoot the bank on the seven fourteen next, or he could hit it with the inside. It looks like he's forcing this ball a lot. Yeah. Hey, yeah, hit that nice. You got to. Just got a shot on the nine. Yeah. He might be able to just use center and drop right behind the 14. Yeah, he is. He's just barely going to, he's just got to barely miss, miss the eight. Only bad thing that happens is he goes one rail right in the side, but I think he's hitting. Is he stunning it? No. no. Oh, he's all right. Yeah, that's not bad. The only bad thing is Dennis could bank this nine into the three, and the three goes off to 11 and makes a seven. Yeah. Definitely get aggressive here, I think. I wonder if he's going to play the nine into the back rail first or directly into the three. I kind of like playing it directly into the three. Or yeah. maybe two rail in it and dragging the cue ball at table. I feel like if you go, if you come into the bottom of it, maybe you get right, a little right. bit more action. But I don't know. I like that because you can take the cue ball at table as well. Yeah. You can hit it kind of hard. Yeah, that's what he did. When I, yeah, what I said. Yeah, there you go. Well, he's in a jam now. Yeah. Well, Scott's got to come with something here. I don't know if he can, but he might be able to bank the eight out and just follow the cue ball down the rail with high English and make the 11. But I can't tell. Yeah, he could do that. I don't really see much else. Yeah. I mean, you could blast the 15 into all those balls. Or... Right. I mean, yeah, I don't, he's got a semi-aggressive shot. I don't like shooting at all, but he could two-row the 13 and drag the cue ball at the seven, you know, underneath the three, and try to make the seven. Yeah. I don't could, like that shot too much, but yeah. if it comes down to it, he may have to. 
He could, or he could go. How about he? Go, how about if he goes rail first, kicks the three out, and then and the cue ball goes off the three and into the seven. And he, you know what I mean? Like rail first. Like if you kick it rail first, cue ball is going to contact the three, and then it hits the seven. Maybe you get lucky and scatter them all out. Right. Oh, hit it firm. Yeah, yeah. Or, or, or if you go rail first and you actually just clip the seven first. Mm-hmm. Now the seven goes into the eleven, and the cue ball goes into the three. You could carry him the three in your hole. It looks yeah, like. yeah, that's what I'm saying. But yeah. I'm, a lot of good things can happen. If you, hit, you just got to yeah. hit those a lot of speed and just hope it, you get lucky. It could go off the back of the thirteen. Yeah, oh, you want to hit like this? Yeah. Oh wow, look at this. I mean, I think that was the best option. I mean, it didn't work out, but I mean, right. you could see how he could have got lucky there. Right, right. That was definitely the best shot. It looked like it was going right in his hole at first too. Yeah, yeah, I know. Sometimes you get lucky and the ball just stops right there. If you when you go into the three, you hit it real full, but it didn't work out. Well, Dennis, you gonna get a few here? Yeah, man. Scott, Scott's got six. Dennis, so he's got it. So his game, Dennis's game ball's got to be the ten yeah. during the win the game. Dennis will for sure probably get seven here, I'd say. Yeah, if anything, if you get lucky and two of those balls happen to go up table, then then it's not the end of the world. It's going to be tougher for them to get out. Right. This isn't a, this isn't a complete duck. No. He's probably going to make it, but it is a missable shot. Yeah, because he's focused on holding the cue ball. Yeah. He might spin this, overspin this, too. Yeah. Uh, he, no. he executes so good. Yeah. <laughs> it's like right in the heart of the pocket every shot. Kind of got I think he's. I think he's straight on the nine. He's going to just pull it back, and he's got the 14. Uh, it looks like he's drawing into the 14. Oh, he's, he does oh, he's on the 14 passes. Yeah, he's just going to play for eight. He's got to make sure he don't fall straight on it, though. Right. Yeah. Play for the nine. Good shot. Yeah, you got to play the nine, seven, eight here, right? I would be shooting the nine, but yeah, these guys. He's a nine ball player. He's used to these shots. To me, this for me, that's, that shot's a lot tougher. Right. I don't like shooting eight at all. I mean, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, you play the nine, the seven, then you get straight in on the eight, then you got the bank on the ten next. All right. Yeah, he got, I don't think, no, he almost got straight in, but he didn't. Yeah, he's yeah, just he's following up. It's like he followed. He may draw it to the side roll now. Oh, he is. Yeah, I, I, I would hit it with a high ball. What do I know? and just roll it in and just cross bank the 10. Yeah. Might follow the cue ball right behind the 12. Yeah, exactly, yeah. That's the best angle to have, probably. Nothing really. He got a little... Yeah, and he got a little funny on this. He's shooting the 10. And it's definitely a make one. It's a little, bit, a little bit of a tricky angle. Right. I guess he's going to punch this real hard. If he shoots this ball, he's going to be hitting it real hard with just a draw. He's going to stun the cue ball over. Oh, he's shooting the 12 ball. Yeah, yeah. He's going to hit it real hard with a stun and go over. He misses it. He figures it's going to go up and down. He uh, hit it right in the heart. Yeah. Wow. Then he stole that game. Yeah, for sure. Shot he hit the, it looked like that three was almost going to go in. I wish we had like a replay. We could back it up. All right. Oh. That's a that's a 
That's a pretty good break. Oh, I didn't even notice. <clears throat> Dennis switched switch sides, huh? He's breaking to the yeah, other side. Yeah, you could cross the eight on his side and try to float in between the third. Yeah, it's kind of tricky. Though. All right. There's nothing real. <clears throat> nothing real good to do here. That's for sure. I can't even shot, take... shot this a couple of times. He may blast the stack and just drag the cue ball up to the head rail. Yeah, but I, yeah, he could. But then he's leaving. He's leaving on the thirteen ball. A guy like Dennis is probably going to make that shot most of the time. Right. Maybe he's going to go. He's going to try to come behind the 13 off the eight. Or no? Oh, he, okay, he did that. Well, he lays the cue ball down nicely. Yeah. Even if he, I'm, I'm looking at he, what kind of angle he's got to go into this ball on the bottom rail. Even if he shoots the 13. If Dennis misses this, he could just sell off the whole rack. Yeah. And it looks like that eight four might be wired into Scott Tolo's wall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't see anything too good to do here. I think that, I think it might be a bit of a shot to bank the nine towards the uh, cross corner. Towards the thirteen. Going, yeah, go into the thirteen. Maybe you get lucky and hang it up. And just drag the cue ball. Yeah, back on the to back the rail. rail. Yeah. That's the best shot I see. I think. I don't see a lot of future in that shot. Yeah, no way he goes for it. I don't know, I don't know what he's doing shooting. here. He's looking at shooting the seven and freezing him on the five, shooting the six real hard. That five may come back and kiss him into the cue ball. Hmm. He did pretty good. Yeah. Get him off the floor and float to the end rail. Yeah. Um, you got to be careful you don't leave him a bank. He's definitely going to be shooting. Well, Hit it perfect. Yeah. Figure out a way to. I, I think you should just go off the 11, pin them on, maybe put them on, them on the stack. five. Yeah. Maybe push the four up in into the stack a little bit. Yeah, I think I just nick off of it and try to freeze them on the four. I don't know if he's got a Kiram shot here on the, on the off the two and the right off the two. Looks like he's banking the eight, maybe. Yeah. I can't tell what he's doing. I don't even know if he looked at it. Eight. That Kiram <coughs> does look close. Didn't it? Yeah. Oh no, I didn't want that. Yeah, that Kiram looks real close. Yeah, it's hard to say unless you're <coughs> looking from the you know, other other view. But even if he would have made it, though, I don't, I don't know. I don't even think he would have had another shot. Yeah, you can't really get nothing out of it. Oh, oh, he's I guess he's got a play to miss this and slide under the eight and get by it close to his pocket. Not make it into the eight. Push the eight towards his pocket and kind of drag the cue ball towards the six a little bit. I feel like because he's jacked up though, he can't hit it with that kind of speed and control the cue ball. Is like, he I could it looks like he could see half the cue ball. I might be yeah. wrong though. I think he can get underneath it. Yeah, then he'll probably do that. He'll probably come into the eight. 
Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, for yeah, sure. Get it. He's got to hit it with inside. But, uh, yeah, he's got a pretty good shot. Yeah, he should go right in the eight and cue ball slide up the rail like a couple inches, maybe. They just went into the whole stack. Yeah. He's gonna think about making this nine straight back. Taking the cue ball for your own? No, no, no. Just be, uh, you know, leaving the cue ball back right here. Because everything, oh, you know, what I mean, he's doubled up on everything. But I don't know. It's kind of, it's kind of a steep angle. I don't know if he's got this. I don't think he can hit it with the speed where he can control it. Right. I like that shot though. If, if he can control the cue ball, you know, you get the nine close to your pocket, and now you leave him on the back rail there. He's I can't tell, but it looks like if he did that, he may leave him the 5-4 combo towards his hole. Nah. Maybe not, though. Yeah, I, think it's, I think it's worth a chance. I mean, he, yeah, that's what he's shooting. He's shooting yeah. Look, he's going to shoot he's a 2 railer. Railer. Yeah. yeah, It's not bad either. That's easier to kill a cue ball, probably. Yeah. Looks, I mean, yeah he may have made ball. that ball. Yeah, I mean, now you're, not, not, now, you're, now you're putting some heat on the guy. Right. You know what I mean? Now the guy's got to... Right. Now the guy's got to do something. It gives you a chance. Yeah. Goofy spot for Dennis. I, yeah, I think he's got to he's got to hit this with like not not real hard and just try to play try the cube into eleven, into the five yeah maybe into eleven five somewhere in that area. He'd like to get him up against those balls. Right. So you probably don't want to hit this real real hard. He's like using a lot of inside. I'm gonna to try to kill it towards the six maybe. I don't think he can. Nah, he's gonna, nah, he's gonna stun it. It's gonna like stun off. And, oh oh wow. look at this! Look at this! Wow. Yeah, he got a little lucky. He got what a turn around here. Well, he's, I'm guessing he's gonna he's gonna try to rip the stack open here. He's gonna make the eight. Maybe he comes Coming into, into the, the seven. seven. Yeah, spreads them out. Yeah, if he comes into the seven and then he comes into the five, everything's gonna open up. How do you like this? You can bank the three at your hole and stay behind these balls. And That's not you, a bad shot either. If you make it, you got two or three balls you can run. Nah, but I think I, I think I like hitting this with like a high inside. Maybe you come into the seven and then into all these balls. And right, and then you could have a bank on the 12 if you don't get a yeah, shot. Yeah, yeah exactly. I, I got you. Yeah, see? Um, yeah. Oh, he didn't get a real good spread there, though. But. That's something, though. That's yeah. definitely better than where he was at. Yeah. Looks like he fell straight in on it, though. Yeah, I mean, Dennis had him, Dennis had him just let him out of the trap. They got pretty unlucky there that that ball kissed. Yeah. He had a lot of distance. Oh, no. Yeah, this is big anyways. At least he gets to get all these balls out of there. Right, right, right. But, but to tell you the truth, I think if he leaves him on that back rail, I think Dennis is going to have the bank on the 11 off the deuce, cross corner. Yep, just follow the cue ball to the six. Yeah, but... Uh, no, he left him pretty good. Yeah, he's going to, I guarantee, but, but the only bad thing that can happen is the, the, the two ball comes all the way back. Yeah. But I, I don't think Dennis is going to shoot it. I don't know, yeah. He could, Dennis might rip this nine ball and just drag the cue ball to the side rail, kind of stun it with a little bit of low. Yeah. I don't, I feel like if you hit that 11 with some left English, it's gonna come, it's gonna come close to going into your pocket. You might be able to float the cue ball oh. behind the seven as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's like a game game winning shot. He's not even looking at it. I'm pretty sure it would go. The only bad thing you got to worry about is the, is, the, is the two is the two coming back. Right. The only problem is if he don't get the 11 by his hole, he's going to leave Scott a free cross corner. Yeah. It looks like it's lined up where the two is going to come right in between the 10 and the 7. Too. Yeah, because it's going to throw that way anyway. Yeah, because it's like lined up straight, but you're going to throw it a little bit. Nah, he's shooting a nine ball here. He's going to drag it over like, like I was saying. you got to be careful not selling on a cross corner here if he shoots it too hard. Yeah, well, 13, he's going to double him up on the 13, probably. 13, 14, you know. He made it. Oh, he didn't. 
Uh, he didn't leave him anything. Well, Scott's got to be happy to be in this position. Oh, yeah, from where he was. Yeah. Now he's up 2 0 in ball count. Yeah. Now he can just work an up table game. Yeah, he's got no danger here. Nothing's close to his pocket. He's got to be careful on leaving that shot on the 11, though. He's going to shoot it. I big guarantee you he shoots it here. And and now the now the now the fifteen's in the perfect spot because now the team's going into the right. fifteen. Yeah, he's, he's, I can't for sure. Yeah. And to me it looks like it's gonna go right in. It looks like it's almost dead. Yeah. Perfect. Mm. Wow. That was, it was lined up dead almost. I thought he <clears> hit <throat> a little more speed. That would have gone, gone in for sure. What do you do here? Just use the four and make the 11? He be able to kick up and down. I don't know if he can get it's, it's real close. If he can kick up and down, it's like threading see, the needle on him. See, banking this 15 as a whole. Looks like he's lining up to bank the 15. Wow. This is aggressive here. He's going for the win. Nope. Hmm. He went for the win there. Yeah, I would have thought about that a little bit more. At least took a little bit more time on it. Yeah. He should have looked at his options for kicking the ball in. Or well, see, I thought he could just shoot the four straight into it, like yeah. rail first. Yeah. And just stop the stop the cue ball right like up, up right up here. Yeah. That's right. I don't understand. Maybe the eleven's deeper on what we can see. Yeah, or if, or if anything, who cares? Make both of them for the guy. All right, all right. But don't I mean don't sell out the whole rack. You're up two zero. Yeah. Three to two now. Figures gonna make this. He's got a. Not gonna be easy to fall on those balls. He's got to get a nice angle. All right. <laughs> I wonder what they're talking about. I don't know. I think I'm going to take a little break while Dennis is, I don't know where Dennis walked away.
Yeah, they either cleaning them or getting a new set, new set.
You are watching On The Rail TV. I hope you're all enjoying this match. Scott Frost vs. Dennis Arcolo for $200,000, Race to 41 Pocket, live from the Karen Room in Beloit, Wisconsin. I'd like to thank some of our sponsors for this match, Aramis Billiard Balls, Simonis Cloth, Divini Cues, QB Custom Cues, Omega, the Alpha of Billiards, NationalBilliardAcademy.com, Outsville.com, and Fast Action Q. Listen, it's it's real simple. It's no secret. My strength is known in the game. Um, when I played effort in July, these guys were with me, and that's something that I have on my mirror. Leave no shot. So I don't care if the game. And I'm sorry, guys. I'm playing for my life here. If the game lasts four hours. It lasts four hours. But this guy's not going to get any shot. Free shots in his pocket. And if he does, I'm doing something wrong. But for me. <clears throat> He's obviously a great shot maker. I think I'm a great shot maker playing long pocket as well. But for me, I'm going to take as many fouls as I have to. I'm going to completely keep him off the shot, and I'm going to frustrate him. I don't care if he needs one and I need 16. I'm going to make that game last as long as possible because what it does is wears him down mentally. And that's what I'm going to do. I always do aggressive, you know, but God, he moves so good, so I have to find something, you know, how to counter. Defense, you know, and I have to look what he's doing, you know, and have to have to make sure, you know, what I did, what I do, you know, and and wait for the chance. You know. This game, especially when you when you play the best, the best player, you know, I mean, you have to think about, you know, you have to go easy, make it easy, you know, make sure you have. I mean, because. Play the best player, you know. I mean, he knows. He knows a lot, you know. And of course, I have to have to think. I have to I have to care for every shot, you know. So well, that's how I play. I mean, that's uh, that, that's why I play. Is this mic on? Yeah. Uh,
Dennis had a chance to run out over there, but, but uh, he missed a shot. He left, he left Scott a pretty tough shot, but then he, he missed it. So, uh, 2 0. Shooting the two, maybe, and just pushing it up the table a little bit. I like, I like coming off the three. Coming off the three and just laying them on the one. Laying on the one? Yeah, off the three, just real soft off the three. Oh, okay. Yeah, because the five and the seven don't go. Man, you, and, and you don't let them see the two. Yeah. Let's him see the two though. Oh, yeah. yeah, but he's jacked up. Uh -oh. I'm not sure what he's gonna do here. Try to make this eight. And put him behind the eleven. Looks like he's gonna nick the four. He might be mad, he might be mongoloid, he might suck it up. Let go, he said, you know what? See, it's all, it's all fun. It's all aggressive and shit. Try to shoot this six ball and try to park him under, put him under the three somehow. <laughs> 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 
This one going to the 13 ball. It's hard to say. Or may, he may try to get on the nine. Actually, I saw him looking to see if the nine passes. It's probably the key to getting the most balls is if he falls in the nine here. If he falls in the nine here. He, he's liable to get everything. No, but that was a good shot. Wow. Control that pretty nice. He's got three, needs five more. All four of these balls here and make the six to win the game. He's got a nice angle to bring into the nine here. And he may just play for the seven. I, I think he may, I think he's gonna try to fall in the nine, but we'll see. Bank the six cross corner to win this game. We'll tie it up eight to eight. Tied up, 8 to 8 now. Shut up, get your tickets. 
Hey, let him know. Dave. Looks like Scott wasn't too happy about this break, but none of the balls spread open. If he can get under his five. Who, who broke these balls? I didn't see. Dennis. Dennis did. Nothing really spread out. Spread out too well. Okay, well, I don't know if he can, but it looks like he might be able to kick into the stack and ride the stack up to the end rail or head rail. Yeah. I don't know if he has the angle for it, but if he can, that's not a bad shot. Yeah, that table, he did that hit up with a little bit of the left English. It does look like nothing's aiming really towards his pocket, though. The 13 isn't aiming to go towards it. Yeah, Scott made a pretty nice out the last game. Dennis, Dennis left him a shot, and Scott ran eight and out. Yeah, he did, he made a real good out. That was a big game, too. I put Dennis on the hill. Yeah. He could even, he, I, I don't even mind shooting this nine ball, two rails, and, and you're drawing the cue ball right up into the one, and then you got the yell the five ball next. I don't think it's that bad of a shot. Yeah. I don't even know what he's looking at. Yeah. Maybe he's looking at coming off the five, two rails into the into the stack. Five ball, and he's gonna come two rails right into the into the stack here. Why you gotta have family? Why why can't you have I think he hit him. He almost I think he left him the nine. That's why I didn't like that. Yeah. That's not easy to judge. No, no, not at all. I like the two railer. I like the two railer on the nine. Right. I mean, it's not, it wasn't a super tough. Well, I mean, even if you hit it bad, you don't sell out nothing. Yeah, yeah. And the cue ball's going to come straight up and go into the one, you know? Right. Now Scott's got a chance for eight. Yeah, I mean, he's going to try to come around the table and get on the eight next. You think so? For sure, yeah. I, I think maybe not, but well, he just played to go into the five. Looks like he's gonna roll. I, I had to guess he's gonna roll into this floor here. And yeah, just freeze him. Yeah, push, the push push send the three. Th yeah, I, I, I think, but I mean, I don't know. Maybe he sees something else. It looks to me like that's gonna put him in a pretty bad spot. Oh, yeah, for sure. Especially if he gets lucky and get, gets a pretty good speed on the three. Well, looks like he's going into the ten here. Yeah. I know. He, he went to the floor. A little too, a little too hard. But Still good. Yeah. Not that. Yeah, he would have liked to have been maybe like an inch inch down. Wow. What does Dennis do here though? <laughs> There's nothing nothing Take to Take a foul? I mean even if you do that, he's just gonna foul right back probably. Leave yeah. It. Wow, this is this is a bad spot here. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't see anything. Wow. Anything he does, the cue ball is going up table. The way, the way it's frozen, the ball is. I mean, can't you can't kick at the three? I mean, maybe get aggressive and shoot the nine. I don't, I don't know. I don't see anything. The only thing that, to me that makes sense, the easiest thing to do, is just roll into the roll into the five and just let him shoot the three straight in. He's not gonna have another shot after. I'll try to jack him up maybe on huh? the five. Yeah, I mean as long as he leaves him straight in on the three with no. Look at this. <laughs> Got him in the point. That ball, I don't, I can't tell, but it kind of like it may have drifted in. Yeah. I guess he. I guess he. he didn't want to. He didn't want to roll on the five because then he leaves him the shot where he can go rail first and get behind the balls. He figured by taking a scratch there, and even if he leaves him a shot, he's straight in, and all he just gets is that. Right. I guess that's why. Yeah, my shot wouldn't have been any good because then he can go rail first and maybe get on the eight. Oh, look. Oh, a little harder. He would snug him right up on the three. On the well, five. The cue ball is nice though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's really. He's gonna kick behind it, but yeah. sometimes a lot of funny things can happen. They get unlucky and sell out the nine. 
right? Or if it, if it stays too deep, you can kick the eight and wedge the cue ball up in the stack. Yeah. Dennis could roll into the 10 here and push the seven down. I don't know if he wants to do that. Right. He's probably better off the deal. I think he's better off just to kick behind this three. Not real, not real hard, you know, but like you said, he may leave him a kick on the eight, but I don't think it's laying real good the eight if, for a if, kick. If he's not dead frozen, if he can get underneath the ball, he could just fire it and cross the three over and take the, you know what I mean, yeah. blow the balls out. Now he's shooting this shot. I don't like shooting, getting that seven down there, you know, because now maybe Scott just takes a scratch and then you're, now, now you're, you're opening up another ball. And, right, right. I'd rather just deal, I'd rather just kick soft under this three, you know, with the with a right English, you know, right. spin it. Not real hard, you know, just soft enough so it doesn't leak out. What about nudging up on the five? Yeah, nah, because then you leave the rail for the first shot. Yeah, I didn't like that. Well, at least nothing, there's nothing open for Scott. But yeah, he's, Scott's just going to scroll, you know, come off the six and leave him on the rail. He may, he can go straight into this four and push another ball yeah, by Yeah, it's going to come off the three maybe. That's, a, that's why whenever, he, uh, whenever you're playing a t top player like Scott, I mean, he's got balls by his pocket and you gotta, you got to do something with him. You just right. leave him there, he's going to find a way to put you in a bad spot and now you can't get to him, you know what I mean? Right. Just digging a hole, huh? Yeah. I mean, you got to deal with the situation. You know, when there's balls by his pocket, you got a chance to kick behind him like that. I mean, you're better off. I mean, you just, if he just would have kicked behind that three and pushed it up, maybe you know, two or three inches, that would have made a big difference. Right. Thank you. The only thing I really see here for Dennis is maybe I don't know if I like it, but maybe kick to the side row and try to get underneath that ball. Underneath the eleven ball. Man, if it, yeah. I don't know if he. I, I, I don't know. I can't see from this angle really. If, if he rolls up and just lays on the five, I don't think Scott can shoot. I think all those balls are all doubled up. Yeah, but look at this. Uh, I couldn't tell. Is it a combo wheel? The four nine. I think it's touching the. I think it's touching the two. Yeah, maybe. Try to bank this. Eh, this isn't a bad shot. Zigzag the cue ball. Kind of free. The, try to get on the back rail. You just want to try to get this close to your pocket and get on the back rail. All right. He hit it pretty good. Yeah, everything's doubled up. And yeah, now Scott's got to deal with the long ball. Maybe we'll be able to do the same thing, just roll into the four and, and kind of nudge that nine out, just lay him up in there. Yeah, I don't know what he sees here. It looks like he saw something. I don't know what. It's kind of in a goofy spot. I know another shot I see. You can hit the one real thin and the cue ball. If you hit the one real thin, the cue ball goes one, two, you know, into it's there. A stack. <laughs> yeah. But it's a, it's a, you know, with that, with that much of a distance and you're close to the rail. It's real touchy. Yeah. But that wouldn't be that bad of a shot. I mean, what if, about, you wedge him in, if you wedge him in there, you know, he's, now he's in. What about crossing the one over and coming into it? Like into the. Well, yeah, the only bad thing with that, now the, now the one ball maybe stays over here somewhere. You, now you come into those balls, now you, maybe you open it up somehow. Right. You know what I mean? I feel the other way you can, you can hit it with a softer speed. Uh, and the other way, if you happen to cut it real thin, you know, the one ball's coming, like, in that direction, you know, right. towards the center diamond, sort of. But you have to hit it pretty thin. We'll see what he does. Thank you. 
think I'd put a little bit of outside English on it if I was to cut the one real thin and you know maybe and, and trying to get the cue ball two rails you know in bit in that wedge and in, in the right. 15 oh. somewhere in that area well but, do you do you like nah, I, was, I was about to say he could shoot the five in but I don't like that because then he's got a free shot on the one and then he's got a free bank if he makes it maybe he's gonna do that maybe, maybe he's gonna go he's gonna he's gonna shoot the 14 and go two rails into the eight maybe oh yeah maybe that's what he's looking at Or maybe he's just going to... Oh, he's going to... you'll bank the 14 off the 7. Yeah, cross corner. But look at this shot. Yeah, it worked out. I mean, yeah, look. It turned out pretty good. But he left him a bank. He left him a bank. The only and, thing is, and, if he misses it, he loses. Not really, because I, I think the 11's blocked. They, they, they're, all, they're, they're, they're tied up. I don't think the 11 goes into Scott's pocket. It may be able to, but it's... It's tight. Pretty, if it does, then... I know one thing. I know Dennis is shooting this. Oh, yeah. He may shoot it with high and follow it to the end rail. I think he's just going to stop it right there for the 15. It's hard to see. I can't see how it's laying. Look, right. To me, it looks like it's laying straight or it's like a stop shot. Right. Well, if you look at the screen, it looks like the balls are tied up. But if you look at the actual table, it looks like that ball goes. Yeah. Yeah, it probably does. It's, it's, it's close, though, either way. Either way, he's got to take a chance here. You don't like maybe kicking up behind them balls? Nah, nah. I think you got to just be aggressive, go for it. Yeah, yeah. I, I hit it with some speed. No, I don't. I don't know. If it looks like he's still like rolling it. Looks like he's rolling it and trying to cross it and come behind those balls. I don't know if I like that. Yeah. If anything, I'd, I'd rather make it and punch it into the eight a little bit. But then, but then you may move the eight in the way and block and it goes right. Yeah, I can't really see the angle he is, so it's hard to say. Obviously, it must not be laying where it's like a stop shot. Right, he, he would have already shot it. Yeah, and it looks like he's trying to come under the 11. The way yeah. he's shooting it, but he's crossing it. I don't like this shot. Yeah, but I mean, if he just tickles, if he just touches that 8, it's going to mess the whole thing up. Right, right. Because he may scratch off the eight, and then, or, I mean, he may push the eight to block, you know, where the two balls are gonna run into it. Right. I think that's what he's worried about. Yeah, I mean, if you look at it from our angle, it, it looks like the cue ball's got to hit the eight if he crosses it. Right. Same if you look at the table. I don't think he can avoid it. Yeah, maybe he not can. to make the ball. Yeah. Well, maybe. Maybe. He might be able to throw it a lot. I know he's going to put a bunch of inside English on it, that's for I sure. I just don't think he can get underneath those balls, though. No, he made it. He better be glad he made it. That was a good shot. Yeah. You don't really have too much here, though. No. I, he's jack I mean, I don't like shooting this jacked up. I'll tell you what he could do. He could bank the 13 and just nudge the cue ball here. And not play to make it, but just put it down here. Yeah, if anything, he, if anything, I think he'd make the 13 and then follow it all the way down. Yeah. This is a tough shot here. Yeah, he's going to open up the six if he makes it, though. And, the, and then he'll get on the one. Oh, he didn't even touch the six. He didn't make it either. No. He may left him in the window here. He did. I guess we'll see if it goes not or not now. It's really close. He left him right. I think it does go. Now, not, you know, now that I'm looking straight down, it, it does go. You're right. Yeah. You're right. You're right. By Dennis' reaction, you can tell it went too. He kind of got a little upset. Yeah, he's got a clear. He's got a clear path to hit it. Well, we might see Scott run eight now here. Yeah, I guess we'll see if it goes or not. I, don't know. I feel like it goes. I feel like you're gonna hit it. Hit it. He's gonna hit it with some inside. Yeah, high inside, and just play for the three. Yeah. Or he could, or, or he could play. He could play to make it and come in between the two and the seven. But no. No, that's that's two. No, I guess it doesn't go. I could swear it looked like it goes, but I could swear it looked like it would go. But I, I must be wrong. We kind of left him. If it doesn't go, then kind of left him a free bank. Yeah. wonder what they're doing here. Trying to get the ball to freeze. I, 
guess the two ball must have got spotted in the wrong, wrong place and it wasn't froze. Yeah, he left him a free bank there. Yeah, but if that pops up and he leaves Scott a return bank. Shoot, he, he just fired it straight in. What do you... I don't know if you... I don't yeah. know what you can do here. Two roll the five, is that what he's looking at? Yeah. yeah, he can't shoot the 13 into the 11 and maybe brush the top of the... I don't know if he can do that. Yeah, I don't think he can do that. It's too much for him. Yeah, I guess that shot's not laying there. Can he maybe play this ball into this with some I outside? Thought he's not even going to try to make this. He's just going to plant the cue ball right there and just get it in play. Oh, no, okay, he did try to make it. That's what I was scared of right there. That's, yeah, I guess he, yeah, he, did, he left him the shot. It's not the easiest shot, but he figures to make it. He's definitely a favorite to make it. Right, and, but, but the thing is, that ball doesn't go, so it's free anyway. Yeah, he, but he, he was playing to get the two ball, cue ball, two rails right by the side pocket. Right, right. But. I'm saying for Dennis, though, he's got a free shot here. Yeah, it, pretty, the, yeah. The 11 much. doesn't go. Yeah. yeah. He spun it way too much. Sold anything out though, and maybe the I 15. Could swear, I could swear you could make that 11. Yeah, it looks like it. Huh? It looks I mean, like look at can with look inside. It. Huh, right? I mean, with inside, how could you not? I, I, Even if you can't make it, you can hang it. Huh? Just, you know what I mean? You can, if anything, you can hang it. Yeah. Just, just hang it in the hole, and then, then he has I, to If it. anything, I, I would play to try to maybe make it and go one, two rails and kick the six out. Right. You know? What about, what if you kind of carom it? Like you, you, you thin the three, and then it caroms the ball in. I could swear you could make it, man. But, but he, you know, it's easier when you're at the table. You can see it. Yeah. All right. I guess it's going to cut right into the point that's going to hang. Well, like, like I said, even if he hangs it, it's not bad. No. Because what, what does Dennis do if he hangs it? I, I know. If he, I mean, if he could bank this 15, he's got to shoot it. I mean, he's got, like, a huge bumper off of that. Right. That ball comes anywhere rolling towards her. It's coming off of those balls and going in. Well, let's see if I'm right. I mean, I could swear you could make this. I mean, it is close, but I mean, I could I could swear that that, that, that goes. Especially on the slotty table. Like I you mean. said, with a touch of inside, like right. the, the inside throws it, like throw it in. Right. I mean, I mean, it looks like it's just unmissable. But I mean, like I said, we have a bad angle too. Yeah. I was. I don't. I like that shot. That wasn't bad. No, it wasn't that bad. But as good as this guy shoots, I don't. I, I don't. I don't like leaving on this shot. I don't think it goes though, does it? The seven ball. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure it passes. Looks like it's close. Well, I mean, if he, he better hope he makes it. If he doesn't, it's game over. Yeah. Yeah, but it, yeah. It's, I mean, if he makes it, it's game over. It's, right. it's a game. I, I mean, he's got to shoot it, and there's no way for him to play safe here. Right. He's forced. Oh, it nope. come off the one. Yeah. Wow. Well. Scott's got a good chance to run eight out here. Yeah, it's 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 kind of touchy getting in the next shot though. I don't know what, I don't know what the best ball to fall on is after this. After these two balls. Yeah, after the eleven. Where do you go from the eleven? If the ten goes, it's, I don't know if the ten goes. One ball is the key ball to clear out of there. Well, if he can stay on the end rail, he can just drag straight up through here, right? Yeah. Or maybe go into the thirteen, shoot the nine next. Could do that. Oh no. This guy got lucky there. Yeah. He thought he scratched. I'm not sure where he's going now. No, it's, it's this tricky. This is tricky to get on the next ball from here. He still might have the angle to just come up and hit, hit the 13. 
hit that, if anything, hit the pink four. Hit the, yeah, the pink four. And then the cue better. ball drifts up a little bit, maybe. Because if you get unlucky and hit the 13, you could get here and yeah. then you're done. Easy. Or if he gets lucky, he can go He can go right by it. He can go straight, straight into the two. Yeah. yeah. yeah he'd like to just graze the four. That's what he's looking at right here. He's, he, he's probably playing to either graze the four, if he doesn't graze the four, it goes by it. It's like a sort of like a two-way thing. Right. See, he was, oh man, a little harder. I think he's still all right though. Yeah, but 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 he doesn't know where the cue ball's going after this shot. I mean, he's just got to hit this. Maybe try to kill it with some low drag it. I know he's going to run into the 14 here and play the nine next. Yeah. Oh no. Oh my god. That was a pretty forgiving pocket there. Yeah, it was. Wow. Well, that's no bargain to get on the next. I, I guess he's got to come and ideally he'd be get on the seven. If he gets on the seven, then he can get everything. Oh, you mean to play the bank? No, he's going to come across straight down under. Oh, I got you with high English. Yeah. And if he doesn't hit the come in the seven, maybe he comes that way. Right. He's got a couple well, different ways. To a lot go. of good things can happen. Yeah, or maybe he's just going to punch it over. Oh, he went, he split, uh, nice. He got a bank. That's it, that's it. I don't think it's a kiss. That's yeah, pretty rude. I don't know if it's, it looks like it's a little bit funny. I don't think so. I think it beats this little high, high mark. Get out of the kiss. Oh yeah, cue ball right behind the eight. Nice shot. Even better. Right behind the, the six, ball. yeah. <laughs> Now Dennis is in a real bad spot. Looks like a dust. He's got it. Even if he I mean, he got looks like he may even not, may, may not bad that we just go ahead and go for this cross corner for Dennis. Might yeah. as well. He's already down four to. What is it? Four to one. Yeah, he's down four to one. He can't make the seven. I mean, I, I, I would just go ahead. Go ahead and swing it. Yeah, I mean, or, it, unless he can kick at the, unless he can kick the seven in, then he well, should. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Going long ground, kicking the seven. Looks like the 14's like blocking the angle though. Oh, he's going for it. I, I like, I, I like it. Though. I mean, as good as he shoots. I mean, he's in a jam. He's behind in the man, in the game. Yeah, and it, he might. I mean, he's really not too, too big of underdog to, to make this honestly. Yeah, I mean, it's not impossible. It's not easy, but it's his only option. If you're gonna sell out, I'd rather go out. I'd rather go out swinging. Than, right, right. Give yourself a chance at least. Yeah. You can kick this ball in, but it's it's not. Re you you have to use like English, and it's rich, you know what I mean. Right, right. And then when you use English, you're, you're hitting this rail and coming this way. It looks like you're gonna go right in. You're gonna hit the two. And even if you do kick it in, you're still in such a bad spot. I mean, yeah. You're not really getting anything out of it. Yeah. You could sell out the bank. I mean, anything yeah. can happen. I guess I guess he figured this may be a better option. It's gonna come real close to hitting the two, I can guarantee you that. No. Oh it didn't. No, oh, he could see it. He, he had the angle to see it. I thought the 14 was blocking. Look at this. Oh, oh man. He almost followed it in. Yeah. Well. Here comes the other table game. He may get Dennis may get a bank, a straight back here, I'll tell you that. Scott's got to do something with the six ball, but he may leave him a straight back. He may bank it kind of hard into the 15 ball here and kind of push him yeah, over to the side. The best thing to do is get the guy in the back rail here. Just like this. Yeah, because now now he can't draw the ball. Right, right. You know what I mean? And he can't shoot a bank, really. Yeah. He could bank the one and play the cue ball into the six, but, I mean, that's, that's, that's risky. Right. Wouldn't be a bad shot, though. It looks like it's got the path to go, the one. But. I don't know. What are you doing here? He's just going to follow, yeah. Just played the well, cue ball. You may let him see the 14, yeah, though. Yeah, if he can bank that 14, then he can put it right on the side. Yeah. Is he, well, he's lining up the 12 ball here. He's going to cut the 12. Oh, he's playing the cue ball into the 14, and then the cue ball is going to go down table. That's what he's thinking. Oh, he missed the 14. That's not bad. No, definitely. Dennis is definitely shooting this. Yeah, 
damn, if he makes this, he possibly can get out. Yeah. I feel like the cue ball is going to go up table after he comes off right, the 10. Right. But he should go into the 10, I think. go off the 10 4 and scratch on the side. Oh, no. no. Well, yeah, that was no easy shot, that's for sure. Looks like maybe game over here. Yeah. Should, yeah, it should be. Wow, this is this is huge here. Like, gu guaranteed too. Everything else is there. to get on the hill. Oh wow! Ooh. It's not easy. Funny things could happen here. He could come. Could the only bad thing that happens is he could come right into the 15. I was going to say, but he didn't. He got. He did good. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did real good. Perfect. Probably a, you know, 15 next, I guess. Oh, that's all he needs. Yeah. That's yeah, nice. Game over. <laughs> wow. Scott gets on the oh. hill. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot Dennis made that one ball for him. Right. I was thinking he had... Scott goes from down 5 0 to on the hill first. Yeah. Pretty good break there. Yeah, that's probably one of the best breaks we've seen. That's a really good on the hill He's got break no, right there. No way to hit the one. I mean, yeah, it was it's a really like, solid break. Only thing I could see is kicking up and down and get behind the one. But I mean, you can right. risk of scratching. I think that's the best shot, but I don't know. Maybe you see something else. If you get lucky and park them behind the one with the cue ball. Tell you what, he's uh, he's in a, a brutal spot here. Yeah. I mean, I don't see anything. He could come off the off the six and play the cue ball into the one, but I mean, he may scratch off of it. Right. He may. I don't really like that, but he may punch that ball into it and try to push it. Yeah. You know, Freeze the cue ball to the end row, maybe. Oh, he's going to try to make it, make the, okay. Yeah, that was a good shot. Yeah, that was a really good shot. I didn't even see that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, he even he got it up a little bit. Yeah. It's like Scott's trying to bank this into the eight. Yeah, he wanted to hit the eight ball there. Watch out. Nah, he's all right. Yeah, he was hoping to hit the eight. If he comes into the eight there, he may get some action. Right. Six goals off the eight, and they go into the still, seven. He still protected that one seven real well, though. That was probably his big thing. Yeah. And now, he, now he's, look, he's looking to double him up all the way down there. See, I, I mean, even then, I, I really don't like it, because then he just tends the seven into the one yeah. and puts him right back or in the If he doesn't spot. leave him on the back rail, Scott may try to He's extreme. coming off the ten. Yeah. Maybe try to He's got to try to make something happen, though. He's got to try to get some balls by his pocket. Right, right, right. He didn't yeah. hit it real hard. I was gonna say you may see Scott shoot this combo and hit the hit the rail first, and maybe it goes off the one. But I don't think it's laying that good. Right. But like you're saying, I think he's just gonna nick the seven. Yeah. Put him behind the eight and ten. That's probably the most simple shot. I tell you what, Scott shoots these shots better than anybody. You he may see caught him two row kick this 13. Yeah. Take the cue ball up table. Well, only thing I don't like about that is you may give him a shot on the eight. Right, right. I, I guarantee you, if he does that and he leaves him with some kind of shot on the eight, he may shoot it. But I don't think he will. But the only bad thing about the kick shot is that cue ball's going probably towards the middle, and then right. he's got he can see everything. 
it's not really going to trap him. But, but. I don't know what's going to Well, looks like he's lining up to do it. Yeah. I mean, he, he, I mean, if he just touches that one, it's going to go in. If he hits it halfway decent. Like I said, he hits it better than anybody. <laughs> he chinned it. He hits those shots unbelievable. Yeah. He had a little, Plus he had a little bit of a backboard with the one. I mean, right, if he right. gets a kind of sloppy, it can easily go off, you know, off the one. Yeah, that's probably why he liked the shot a lot, though, because of the, where the one ball right. was laying. He knew if he hit a little, even a little sloppy, he could go in off the one. Right. He's going to play this hard into the five, or he's just going to come over for the ten. Oh, no. Yeah, he wanted to get on the ten there, break yeah. the whole rack open. Good thing is he he still cut the seven, so it's not totally bad. Yeah, he can go back and forth. That that combination's lying lying dead. Right. As long as he can get uh, straight in on it. Well, he might just float it and kill it on the side. Oh, he's gonna go back there. and forth. He's gonna go one, two, three. What do you think? Yeah, I think so. Oh no, no. Oh, it's even wow. better. Yeah. yeah. It's gonna be hard to get another one from here though. Oh, the, oh, the two ball goes. Oh wow. It's kind of brutal. Yeah, this is like this is the, it's a safe shot too because he's gonna he's gonna float off that that ball and the cue ball is gonna come right there. Not even, yep. Wow. Yeah, perfect. See what Scott showed a lot of heart in this match. Yeah. Now he just wants to punch it out and play for the. I thought he was looking at the 10. I don't know what he's going to shoot the 8 ball. <laughs> and then after he makes he's running, he's going to have a little bit of an, oh no, okay, he got, he, I, I thought he had more of an angle. All right. And he just got a stop shot here, and then he's got the 11, gets to the 10. He's out here. Yeah. Looks like it. He made, or he may have a little bit of an angle where he's going to float into the 5. Right. That wouldn't be bad either. Probably better off to have the cue ball go right in between the three and the five. Right, so you don't get froze up on the five. Yeah, yeah, if you go into the five, it's kind of thin. And... Oh, he went in and just shot that oh, ball okay. first. Yeah, I like that. It wasn't bad. I, I, yeah, I think I looked like he was lining up to shoot the nine. Now you got the 10-9, game over. That was called a shit shot. Scott, <laughs> yeah. Scott wins the first day if he gets out here. Give you a window there. Probably going to the three. Oh, yeah, okay. Plays a nine. There That's we it. go. Scott Frost. You're going to see him get excited here. Well, that was a hell of a comeback. Yeah, it was. Huh? Yeah. Being down five to nothing, he wound up winning, what was it, eight to nothing. Uh, ten to eight, yeah. Yeah, unreal. He won ten games to three from being down five to nothing. <laughs> right? That's a lot of heart there. Yeah. Battling. Yeah. All right, well, see everybody tomorrow, I guess. Hey guys, it's Lenny on the mic. Uh, just hope you all enjoyed the live broadcast today. Scott with a heck of a comeback there. He was uh, down four to nothing and uh, rallied a, a bunch of games and got back in it. A little seesaw, and now it's uh, 10 to 8, Scott, after the first day, and we'll be going into uh, day two tomorrow. We'll be starting at 3 p.m. So tune in on the rail TV. You can also uh, go on Ustream and uh, watch on the rail there if you're having any problems with the website. It's uh, more mobile friendly, mobile devices. I would use uh, Ustream directly. But yeah, I appreciate everybody tuning in. I'll, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to get something to eat. Hope you're all enjoying it. Thank <laughs> you.
You're watching On The Rail TV. I hope you're all enjoying this match. Scott Frost vs. Dennis Arcolo for $200,000, race to 41 pocket, live from the Karen Room in Beloit, Wisconsin. I'd like to thank some of our sponsors for this match, Aramis Billiard Balls, Simonis Cloth, Diviny Cues, QB Custom Cues, Omega, the Alpha of Billiards, NationalBilliardAcademy.com, Outsville.com, and Fast Action Q. Tell me, do you like to play for money? Tell me, do you like to play for money? Let's play some pool.
listen, it's it's real simple. It's no secret. My strength is knowing the game. Um, when I played Effort in July, these guys were with me. And that's something that I have on my mirror. Leave no shot. So I don't care if the game, and I'm sorry guys, I'm playing for my life here. If the game lasts four hours, it lasts four hours, but this guy's not going to get any shot, free shots in his body. And if he does, I'm doing something wrong. But for me, <clears throat> he's obviously a great shot maker. I think I'm a great shot maker playing a lot of pocket as well. But for me, I'm going to take as many fouls as I have to. I'm going to completely keep him off the shot, and I'm going to frustrate him. I don't care if he needs one and I need 16. I'm going to make that game last as long as possible because what it does is wears him down mentally. And that's what it is. I always do aggressive, you know, but God, he moves so good, so I have to find something, you know, and how to counter open defense, you know, and I have to look what he's doing, you know, and I have to, I have to make sure, you know, what I did, what I do, you know, and, and wait for the chance. You know. This game, especially when you when you play the best, the best player, you know, I mean, you have to think about, you know, you have to go easy, take it easy, you know, make sure you have, I mean, because Play the best player, you know. I mean, he knows. He knows a lot, you know. And of course, I have to, have to think, have to, I have to care for every shot, you know. So, well, that's how I play. I mean, that's uh, that's that's why I play. You know?